The first armored car was developed in the late 19th century. First used as scouting vehicles, they quickly became a source of protection in modern warfare. Today, private armored vehicles are made for celebrities, CEOs, and government officials. This armored SUV looks like an ordinary car, but it's reinforced with bulletproof steel and has transparent armor windows. A designer integrates armored parts into the original design of the car using a 3D CAD system. A CNC precision laser cutter shapes the armored parts out of a ballistic steel sheet. A mechanic tests the steel's ballistic resistance using a high-power rifle. He makes sure the armor meets international ballistic impact standards. A mechanic starts by removing the inside covers and liners of the car, stripping it down to the chassis frame. Now the mechanics can install the armor. They weld bulletproof steel sheets to the chassis frame. They reinforce the car floor with blast absorbent steel sheets and install ballistic armored steel to cover the interior cabin walls. A mechanic now uses an electric grinder to remove the standard steel panels from the door. Armored steel plates designed to fit to the chassis are welded in place. At the end of the process, the vehicle is armored from top to bottom. The armor adds around two tons of weight to the vehicle depending on the model. So each vehicle is equipped with an adapted suspension system. A welder assembles a fuel tank casing using ballistic steel. He arranges the metal to form a protective shell around the tank, then welds the pieces together. Another worker applies electrostatic anti-rust and flame retardant paint designed to prevent the tank from exploding if exposed to open flames. A welder attaches the fuel pan to the bulletproof casing. He uses a MIG torch to tack weld the pan onto the armored steel. The CNC design casing fits perfectly around the tank. Mechanics now reassemble the interior fitting, air conditioning system, and electrical wiring running through the roof. Another worker reattaches the original panels to the armored door frame and puts the door lock and window controls back in place. They cover the blast absorbent steel with floor mats. Then they bring in the rear bulkhead door which is upholstered to match the original interior. This bulletproof door can be used as an emergency escape hatch. It opens horizontally because the door is too heavy for hatch lifts to support. Now they install the windshield. It's made of transparent armored glass. The thickness of the glass depends on the ballistic standard the car needs to meet. He installs run-flat devices made of composite plastic inside the wheels. This allows the car to keep rolling on a flat tire for 40 to 50 miles at a speed of up to 50 miles per hour. A mechanic tightens the device around the rim before a robotic arm attaches the tire to the wheel. He labels the reinforced wheel with the specifications of the run-flat device and mounts it back on the car. A keen observer may see the overlap between the edge of the door frame and the main chassis, or notice the unusual thickness of the windows. But the design of these cars makes them look perfectly normal to most people, even though they are as protected as armored tanks.